Hey kids! In today's video, we'll be learning about electricity. Are you ready? Let's begin! Picture a river flowing with tiny invisible particles called electrons. These electrons are like little energy messengers and they're what we call electricity. Everything around us is made up of tiny particles called atoms. Atoms have even smaller parts inside of them, and one of these parts is the electron. Sometimes, these electrons get really excited and start moving from one atom to another. When they do this, they create a flow of energy. That's what we call an electric current. Remember when your dad or your mom set up the holiday lights on Christmas? When you plug the lights in, the electricity flows through the wires, making the little bulbs light up. It's like the electrons are passing the energy along, and voila, you get beautiful twinkling lights. Try rubbing a balloon against your hair and making it stick. That's also related to electricity. When you rub the balloon, you transfer some electrons from your hair to the balloon. This causes the balloon to have a little extra electricity and it can attract things like your hair or even small pieces of paper. Electricity can be generated in many ways. One cool way is through something called a generator, which can turn motion into electricity. Imagine pedaling a bike. Your effort makes the wheels move and that motion can be turned into electricity that powers things like lights, fans, and even entire cities. We use electricity so much in our daily lives. From charging our phones and powering our computers to make appliances work, electricity is everywhere. Without it, we'd be living in a much darker and quieter world. And there you go! Electricity is like a dance of tiny particles that create energy, and we use that energy to make our world light up and hum with activity. Now here are fun facts about electricity. The ancient Greeks were aware of static electricity. Around 600 BC, Thales of Miletus observed that rubbing certain materials, like amber, against animal fur would cause the amber to attract lightweight objects. A typical lightning bolt carries around 1 billion volts of electricity and can reach temperatures hotter than the surface of the sun. In 1752, Benjamin Franklin famously flew a kite during a thunderstorm to prove that lightning was a form of electricity. He used a metal key tied to the kite string, and when the key collected an electrical charge, he felt a shock when he touched it. Electric eels can generate electric shocks of up to 600 volts to stun prey and deter predators. They use specialized cells called electrocytes to produce these shocks. And that is all for today's video. I hope you enjoyed learning about electricity today. Take care now. Bye-bye. If you enjoyed the video and want to see more videos from us, please click the subscribe button. Also, give us a like. That will help us. We thank you so much and we do hope that you enjoy our videos. See you soon.